Well, Sue Ellen's quite a writer. I always go someplace where it'd be alone. Jay, uh, how are you? Oh, what's happened to little John Ross? I saw him with you just a few minutes ago. Oh, he's with his grandma, Frasier Shepherd, and Mandy Wanger. Oh, how do you do? I'm Sue Ellen's mother. Hello. I didn't mean to interrupt anything. No. Actually, I was just going to meet some of my friends. So. So that's Mandy Winger. Hmm. Well, she's such a common-looking girl. I expected someone exceptional, someone with breeding. I suppose you think Sue Ellen's descended from royalty on your side of the family, or maybe her daddy's. There's nothing wrong with the way Sue Ellen was brought up. No. That's the way she turned out. And the winner of the ladies' barrel race, Sue Ellen Ewing. Great job. Great job. You won. You won. You won. You won. Great. I really did win. I got to get ready for my next flight. Will you watch me? Is everybody having fun? Okay. We're going to take a short break from the action, folks. So why don't you all get up and stretch your legs? Get on over to the refreshment stands. I hear the barbecue over there will melt in your mouth. We'll see you back here for the next event. Mandy. I'm Sue Ellen Ewing. I know. May we talk? Why? I have something to tell you that might be helpful. You're not the first girlfriend JR has had. That's helpful. I've seen the way he's treated all the others. Look, this time, it's different. Is it? Yes, it is. JR and I love each other. You just don't know him the way I do. Mandy, I know JR every which way there is to know him. And he's never going to change. Never. He's going to use you like he's used all the others. And then he's going to walk out on you and never come back. You really want me out of his life, don't you? Not for the reasons you think. I don't want him back. Mandy, I'm telling you this for your own good. Because J.R. destroys every woman he goes to bed with. It's by the grace of God that he didn't destroy me. Don't let him do it to you. Thanks for the advice. You'll forgive me if I don't take it, because you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Isn't it strange how the mistress always thinks she's smarter than the wife? If she's so smart, why is she the mistress?